everyone. It is Jessica, the vegan vixen. I am, there we go. I am coming at you with a line. Sorry, I'm really, like, whew. Yes, it's a good thing I don't edit. You just, like, see the being that I am. I am coming at you with a line called Shiva Rose. It could be Shiva Rose. I really, I believe it's Shiva Rose. Hold that thought. I actually have to respond to this super quick. Done. Okay. <clears throat> so Shiva Rose, she is one of those amazingly, beautifully, holistic, natural beings that, quite frankly, I kind of worship, idolize, etc. Because she just, I think she's wonderful, what she's trying to represent, what she's trying to do. Please check out her blog, thelocalrose.com. Super amazing. Her skincare has been progressingly, uh, or the development's been progressive because she started simply with, <coughs> I am not feeling <coughs> well today, so bear with me. Uh, she started simply with, and this looks really haggard because I love it and it's been a little used and abused. Can we see this logo? Sorry guys, okay. She, uh, Shiva Rose, this is her face oil. This, it's a rose face oil. Um, if any of you know from things that I've talked about in the past, I have her website here, so I'm gonna be able to clarify further. But rose hip oil, for me anyway, has been a wonderful moisture-based product, as well as something I've read that's really great for people for anti-aging purposes. I know you're going really, but at 30, Obviously, I really want to be on par, and I've been doing preventative measures for a very long time because when you have fair skin such as mine, you have to be extra preventative because sun is a brutal, brutal beast on fair-skinned folk. So, she has a blend of jojoba, rosehip, kooky nut, argon, Camelina, I have not heard of that one before, and Persian rose oil along with sea buckthorn and vitamin E. These oils are absolutely phenomenal. Now, if you, when I get, not if I do, when I get to the Living Libations review of a lot of that line, I have a very large portion of it, <clears throat> there are a lot of similar ingredients in the two brands. So clearly these oils are used to replenish the skin and what I love about Shiva's line here is that she does everything in a high vibrational manner. Now, I believe in high vibrations and trying to vibrate at a high frequency. I put my rose quartz and my crystal quartz in my water to give it a higher vibration. And she actually does a similar concept with uh, quartz and crystals in her products as she's making them. So really you are getting all the love she has and putting it back in and on your body. It's really, really important. Um, not to mention that it is organic and obviously it's toxin free. What, what? This is also uh, some of the oils in this help with inflammation. So I know a lot of you are concerned, hey, I may have oily skin or acneic skin. Oil is not a problem for acneic skin. And the biggest problem that I find with people that say, oh, well, it has oil, it's a bad thing. It's because you're rubbing it in. Oil, 100% needs to be pressed into the skin to be absorbed. Another really crucial thing, and this is how I manage my dry skin the best, especially during the winter months, is that I 
keep my skin slightly damp and then I apply my moisture. That way, when your skin's still slightly damp, it's still trying to take in the moisture from the water so that the product is also being sucked in, I would say, a little better. You don't want to rub, you want to pat. I actually have been reading a really wonderful book called The Do-In Way. I could be saying it wrong, but it's D-O-I-N way. And uh, it talks about anti-aging remedy from the Chinese medicine-based uh, methods of herbal care and Chinese herbal care, really. And one thing, oof, look at that. That is painful. Okay, so one thing that they recommend for forehead wrinkles, and I know I'm going to sound like a crazy person, but I'm going to share it because I find that once I put this on morning and evening, especially evening, what I do, a few drops, put it here and here, and then take the palms, and then take the palms of your hand and tap upward. It is actually supposed to retrain the muscles in your forehead to go back to their natural state. What happens as we age is they lose their elasticity and if we're not caring for them properly or trying to retrain them like a workout, they're just gonna keep sinking. The lines are gonna get deeper, but the more that we stay proactive, the less lines that we have. I struggle mostly with this line. I've been doing this technique even into this eye area for over a month and I've noticed a difference with this line here. The nemesis is what I refer to it as on my face. The nemesis is that line and <coughs> <coughs> thank God I wear glasses because you can't see it when it's when I have my glasses on but up close and personal it is it is telling my age. Let's just be serious. Um, you know, I, I want to talk about age because some of you who are watching might be like, what does she know? She's 30. I've been doing preventative maintenance since I was 12 years old. My mother has always been obsessed with her skin. Not that she's necessarily done the right things with her skin, but she's been very, very uh, obsessed with her skin. So at age 12, I was like, I'm preserving. I remember being so dramatic at 12 being like, preserving my skin too. So things that are really crucial, the neck, the decollete, the face, the head, especially being that I'm now shaved, and the ears. People really do not think about the ears or the back of the neck. All of this area is really important, and the hands, because these are the most exposed areas on the body, realistically speaking. Uh, for me, my biggest tell that I have had too much sun is I get severe freckling. It does not matter how much I do to cover, block, whatever. Even I like a white zinc stick. Not that that's great, but if I did that, I would still have freckles. <clears throat> so, obviously, my skin is catching a lot of rays despite my efforts. And I am trying just to keep my skin taut for as long as possible. And I don't believe in fillers. I don't believe in Botox. My mom says that'll change, but I've been pretty natural about everything since forever. And um, I'm just really, my family loves plastic surgery. I don't vibe with that. So for me, it's just not really something I want to do. I'm all about the idea of acupuncture, acupressure facials, things of that nature, a little gentler and less evasive. <clears throat> so that is why for, gosh, eight years, I've been using nothing but oils on my skin. I do switch them ever so often, um, but for the past few years, it's been one brand specifically, and this brand has just been an add-on item to the rest that I use by Living Libations, who I can't, I can't. This is just something that's so amazing. Now, I've been using a few other products, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, by uh, Shiva Rose, one of which, it's a little late now for me to be like, hey, you should do this for your loved ones, but 
you should get this for you because you love you. Um, this candle right here is amazing. <sighs> actually, before I tell you about this candle, I would actually like to give you price points so I feel like I'm educating you and sharing. This for, I believe, what is this, one ounce? One ounce, $85. Five drops on your hands. You don't have to go crazy. You don't need like a butt ton. You need five, six drops. It covers your face, your neck. You're good to go. This should last you, I would say, at least four to six months. Maybe three if you're like really needing excess moisture, but I'd say four to six months. $85, I think, is a very fair price when it comes to keeping clean and when it's a super moisture rich product but it doesn't meet, leave your skin feeling oily I don't like that some oil products sit on your skin even if you're dabbing them in it just sits there and I think that's where oil gets the bad rep because it's not high quality oil this for 85 in my opinion is a phenomenal deal it's a steal you're getting beautiful healthy glowy skin I have people come up to me often asking me, what is your routine? What do you do? You look healthy. Which for someone who is not healthy and wears big glasses to hide the, the really bad area, it's a huge compliment. Huge. <clears throat> this candle is luscious. I mean, I swear to you, between this and my Rodin candle, they're always burning. They're both burning right now. That's It's just, it's good stuff. This candle is $50. It's a rosewood vanilla candle. It is simply divine. I wonder if it will tell me how many hours of burn. It does not. So let's check on her website. Um, they say typically with most candles, don't burn less than an hour or more than three to four hours. I think that's standard for all candles. I swear to you, this it's just, it's light too. It's not pungent, it's not aggressive, and it's really very peaceful. Um, this is made with coconut wax, which I think is very cool, and a lead-free cotton wick. It does not say what the burn time is, like how long you'd get out of it, but I've been burning this for a few weeks now, and I'm not even halfway done. So I'd say you get a fair amount of burn time, and I just think it's so whimsical. <sighs> it's, it's a beautiful scent. I have really grown to appreciate and love rose. I really, really have. Rose, I've always enjoyed Neroli or Ylang Ylang, um, but rose, I guess because Growing up, most of the rose-scented items are scented, and they're not essential oil, natural-based. And when they're scented, that smell of fake rose is the biggest turnoff. It makes me so queasy. I am not good with smell. I love smell, but I am not good with artificial. So having <clears throat> moving forward in my natural, non-toxic journey, the more rose products I find, the more... I find that they are such a beautiful and light scent that I can see why women would wear rose and feel beautiful. Because just being around the smell, I feel beautiful. I feel like a woman. One product that I got just as an experiment to see, you know, because I've been using, what have I been using? Um, <coughs> not rose witch hazel, just uh, rose water as my toner per se. And, you know, I'm thinking, great idea, whatever. So I look at her product, the Radiant Rose Water. I think it's a lot of money, but I'm going to try it. I was, I was looking for some skincare splurges. Do you see everything happening with my clothing here? It's all bad news. This product is the latest and greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Sorry, I really have some light issues here. Uh, Shiva Rose Radiant Rose Water. When I say this to you, when I first got it, I immediately opened it because I was like, I need to know how great this is. Also, it was like leaking everywhere. It was during the snowstorm. I don't blame anybody other than USPS for like jacking up my bottle. But... 
holy crap, like, Shiva, if you watch this, I hope you watch this, but if you watch this and you make a scent based off of this, it will sell like no one's business. Like half the time, I just wanna walk by myself and just be like, shh, oh, uh, it's that amazing. Like, oh, it is the most beautiful scent. I swear to you, it is, it is just, ugh. It is to die. So this is four ounces, $75. What it has in it, it's a tonic, a toner, a face mist. It rehydrates your skin. Now let me just say this. <clears throat> As a fear of a 30 year old feeling like my skin is falling, it, it is a fear. I mean, I, I care for myself, yes, but I, and I know it's going to happen, but Anyway, the first thing I did when I got this was Now first of all, I'm like <sighs> marinating in the scent. The most beautiful smell, the most natural smell I have ever smelled. <clears throat> Cue a few seconds later, you know, more things are occurring on my skin and my skin's feeling like it's ever so slightly taut and I'm going oh I'm feeling beautiful no joke this, these are my reactions like these are if I was being filmed then this is exactly what would have happened I was like oh I love this I love this it's beautiful so she has aloe which I used to use straight on my skin and it did give you that like slight taut feeling make you feel a little younger right and go to cola which I'm a huge fan of I actually had my husband using go to cola for a very 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 long time she uses it in this product for anti-aging essentially I was using it more for concentration for my husband he was taking it in pill form obviously herbal form and then she also has sea minerals which I am huge on sea minerals I actually do this um, Bladderac detox soak in the tub. It's supposed to help remove excess toxins. I just shove my face in there, stay under the water for as long as possible because I swear to you, seaweed does something for your skin. Look at Asian skin. Their skin is just out of this world, incredibly beautiful, youthful for a very long time. And I'm telling you, it is due to their excessive seaweed consumption. And I have some every single day. Okay, also there's vitamin C, comfrey, and if you don't know what that is, it's supposed to help soothe the skin. So if you have something like rosacea or a few breakouts here and there, it will help with some of that redness. Naturally, there is rose and jasmine and camella. Also, a moisturizer. So this is essentially toning, moisturizing, and calming the skin. Let me tell you, to put this on and follow with this, Slam dunk, people. Slam dunk. Shiva, wow. You are beautiful. Um, and so the rose in here, just so you know, it's not an essential oil. It's the hydrosol, which you can buy rose hydrosol in any natural grocer. Um, it's readily available. There's also witch hazel, which I carry rose witch hazel. Um, when I go to the hospital, I have like a, a little packet of which hazel pads, and that's fine, but I always like to add the, the Thayer's, their rose witch hazel in it, because I really like that it's also a little moisturizing. Um, like I said, there is rose essential oil down along through it to help with elasticity, the algae extract, jasmine, kelp, spirulina, comfrey, vitamin C. Clearly, this is heavily, heavily, heavily loaded with algae. There is one other brand out there that is really big on algae and seaweed, and that is OC. That is the only other brand of skincare that I dare to bother putting on my face, aside from living libations for this recently added Shiva Rose. The product line is very agreeable to the skin. And these two 
have become like the new game changer in my world outside of what I use by living libations for my whole routine. And what I am going to do one day after I do the individual reviews, I'm going to do <clears throat> a full, this is what I do to me. From start to finish, getting myself together. Um, and actually leave a comment below if you would like me to do a nighttime routine and a daytime routine or a nighttime routine and a daytime routine with makeup together or separately because I do use a natural fix-in of makeup if you will I have to say fix-in because it is a it is a variety uh, the majority of what I put on my face however is by RMS love them okay moving on so I am a firm believer of oil, as if you haven't heard that enough in this video. And I am a big, big, big fan of just loading myself down. Again, when I say I'm a firm believer of oil, I moisturize that way. I finish the shower, turn it off, take a towel, just dab, 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 dab. Not wipe, not rub, not soak up my moisture. I want moistness. Hell, I don't even mind if there's a few like droplets left on me. And um, typically, I keep coconut oil in my bathroom, ready to roll. It's a great moisturizer, and it is antimicrobial. But, again, I really want to try all the shivages. Shivages, shiva business, and so I invest in the nectar body oil, not the amber, because amber is not 100% a Jessica scent. It's just not. This stuff. You want to make perfume out of this too, Shiv? Let's do this. We're on we're on first name abbreviated basis now because that's how much I love you, and that's how I feel about your products. They're just uh, extraordinary. $60 for ounces. Now I know, um, what do I spend on coconut oil? I think I get, I think I spend 30 or, no, $40 on 16 ounces of coconut oil. Um, yes, it is less than this, but I use it for a, a vast majority of things. So I use it for my oil pulling, um, if I'm not using something so luscious, I use it as my body moisturizer. So I do, I have purpose. I have purpose here as to why, but honestly for my body, I do like to have <coughs> a little more with like, a little more to offer. This does because this has beautiful essential oils added to it. And she has two, like I said, the amber and this is the nectar. I'm, I'm majorly crushing on this. Now, this, according to the description, is a nourishing body oil, and it has cardamom, sandalwood, ylang ylang, and yes, it does have ylang ylang. It is nice. Um, and it says that it's supposed to help you embrace your sweet and sensual side, and um, the ylang ylang makes your heart sing, the cardamom boosts the phytonutrients, and the sacred sandalwood soothes the spirit. I adore this smell. And again, I do it when I'm damp. So I'm still in my shower damp. And I just put it on, let it really soak in. In the same time, I'm spraying my face really quick. I'm popping this on my skin all while I'm in the shower. No, it's not running. It's off. But I'm damp. So as my body is drying off, it's all just soaking in and keeping me so smooth and supple and soft. I love it. So what oils, you ask, are in here? Sunflower oil, evening primrose oil, apricot seed oil, forage oil, cardamom, sandalwood oil, almond oil, ylang ylang, and again, vitamin E. One thing I've noticed with Shiva's product is she's huge on vitamin E and why according to her it is because it's a natural preservative there's no parabens we don't have time for that and it helps to prevent cancer by an end aging by blocking free radicals from forming that's really really crucial especially if you're a sun worshiper or if you're just trying to keep the skin fresh 
Uh, it also helps to reverse sun damage and lines. Hey, just what I said, right? So vitamin E, very important. One other very important thing to note about all of her line, GMO free and organic. Highly, highly, highly recommended. These are beautiful. If I didn't mention, I believe I did, but it's 60 for four ounces. Now, there are two new products. Well, there's a few other products I want to try, but two specifically that I plan to get my hands on very shortly, and then I will be doing a review. <clears throat> she does have a glow face balm. This is just a side note. Um, next winter, I may try that as a night treatment for me. Um, I tend to have a lot of issues with the balms. For some reason, the balm in my skin never really gel together. The oils, fantastic. The balms, I don't know. I feel like I get drier. So I am curious to try hers, but I'm not on board with it just yet. But it is a big seller because it's constantly sold out. Though, she came out with a Celestial Blue Eye Cream. I am low on eye cream. I'm looking and I was going to purchase from Living Libations, my usual jam. But her description just excites me. I mean, really excites me. It is made with um, no, I'm not going to pronounce this right. Hyaluronic acid, can, calendula, uh, or calendula, calendula, calendula. That's how you pronounce it. I just learned this, that I've been pronouncing it wrong for eons. So, hyaluronic acid, calendula, primrose, aloe. It also has blue chamomile, which I use regularly. I actually use it on my body. I buy the essential oil. It's very expensive, but it is very soothing. Uh, rooibos, which is a great tea for anti-inflammatory. It's an herbal-based tea. It's made from a South African bush. Really good stuff. Lavender and pomegranate. Now, all of this is created to soothe the eye area. <clears throat> using sandalwood as well to diminish lines and because she activates this cream with azurite crystals it's supposed to help open the third eye now if that mumbo jumbo is not your thing I don't believe that it's mumbo jumbo I am all about the chakras and balancing my soul um, this just speaks to me it is $95 and I believe it's a half ounce it could be a full ounce, but I think it's a half ounce. $95. I am very, very curious and excited because more than anything, the blue chamomile. That's huge. That's, that's a selling point to me because I do spend a lot of money on blue chamomile for healing purposes. So I really want to check the blue crystal eye cream and the Celestial Rose Body Butter. And I know you're saying to me, hey, didn't you just say you use oil on everything? And yes, I do. Um, the Celestial Rose Body Butter, I believe is four ounces for $60. I'm going to confirm that. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and this just sounds really sensual. It sounds really beautiful. She came out with a new body scrub, all from Sea Minerals. And that sounds very lovely as well. But the Celestial Rose Body Butter, is also infused with crystals. It's really wonder, wonderful for opening the heart and the crown chakra. I really do struggle with the heart chakra uh, in terms of opening it. I'm a very loving being. I'm very mothering, nurturing, but I think I could use some assistance. I think everybody could probably use some assistance in many areas of their lives. And um, again, helps with anti-aging. It's omega rich because it has shea butter, macadamia nut oil, kooky nut oil, and grapeseed. Again, infusing the whole high vibrational scenario with rose essential oils. Um, <clears throat> this body butter is very appealing to me. I'm not sure that would be my first investment. I really want to get the eye cream because I have severe eye issues with the puffiness. I've seen dermatologists who have all said to me, that's never going to go away. You have very severe sinus issues. You have a terminal illness. You have a chronic illness. 
all of it's induced with inflammation. You have family history with these bags and this puffiness. The best that they could do is take a syringe, pull out some of the moisture, and I'll see them again in a few months to keep doing the same thing. It's something that they really don't recommend doing. So um, I just try to keep the area very moist and anything with anti-inflammatories I put on my eyes just to try to look somewhat healthy. So this is the Shiva Rose line. And I'm leaking something. Crap. I think I'm leaking oil. This is the Shiva Rose line. And Shiva Rose, it's probably Shiva. I'm so sorry if I don't have your name right. I really should have clarified. But this line is so beautiful and so luxurious and effervescent and clean and not toxic, cruelty-free, so it seems to be. I don't think it says it anywhere. It probably does. It doesn't, but I'm going to say that it is because why is this woman who's all about the natural non-toxic business going to test on an animal? I'm really impressed with the line. My skin feels and looks good, and currently what I'm wearing, what I said earlier, I think, is I've got a little bit on my cheeks, which you can't tell. I probably itched enough that I've rubbed it off, and um, <clears throat> I always do my brow, uh, brow scara and lip color. So I'm not really big on the whole face makeup business. And I just really wanted to share this product line because it's beautiful, it's clean, it's luxurious, it's feminine, it's high vibrational. I'm impressed and I really wanted to spread the word to you, my viewership, and see if maybe I can help you and your skin heal your skin clean your skincare routine and I will be back shortly to share living libations and all of the amazing goodness that Nadine Artemis has to offer. So please take the time, hit subscribe up above. If you have any questions about anything or your skincare routine, these products, any other brand of products that you think, hey, maybe I might like or hey, have you heard of, do you know anything about, leave a comment below. I am always here to answer and I'd love to hear from you. And lastly, check me out on Instagram. I am the Vegan Vixen. I'm signing off. Thank you for watching and I hope each and every one of you had a beautiful Valentine's Day.